everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from the XTC on GSP. We're going to take a second because it looks like... Yep. Okay, we're going to have freezing video to get started today. You know what? It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be streaming if things didn't go wrong right away. Give me one second, everybody. I apologize for the inconvenience. Turn it off and on again. Unplug everything. And try again. Nothing too crazy is happening right now. Promise. There we go. There we go. We'll try that intro again. Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the XCC on GSP. We got Dan Shirub versus Marcel Manzano, Malta versus Team USA. At this point, Team USA is actually up 4-0 in the series. The attempt right now is to see if Marcel can keep it going and try to complete the sweep. Now, they do have to end up getting seven games for that sweep to happen. We have another game happening today on the channel. We'll see what ends up happening. Before we go too far, let's go ahead and open up that Choose Your Champion poll. Remember, if you are watching on YouTube later on, this is your chance to go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. Who do you think... Who do you think is going to win this game? And let us know why. And, of course, let us know if you were right or wrong and what 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 swung it. You know, like, yes, I got it. Or, oof, I was wrong and here was why. A little bit of insight into this matchup, okay? Obviously, the four HMPs are a uh, are just a... It is currently a well-known archetype. There's a couple of different ways people have been flying them. Um... But, uh, you know, Dan here bringing a, you know, his flavor on it. And people have called him the world's best HMP player. And uh, I've seen him play quite a bit. And I, I believe it. So you got to watch out. Watch for the skills here. It is a slippery sh ship, pun intended, with those side slips uh, that are out there. Okay. So, um, in the Team Malta squad, we have the Geonosian prototype in dressed in red. There's a little side slip action to get started. We got synced laser cannons, Kraken, and repulsor stabilizers. If you're not familiar with Kraken, Kraken is that um, tactical relay that allows three calculates to stay on those friendly ships. Be able to bring them to the round before. It's really useful, especially with that ship ability that the HMPs have to um, use network to aim. Network aim allowing you to get a reroll for every friendly target lock that those HMPs are shooting or have on the enemy sh ship being shot. So essentially, you can go in double modded um, on the opening, especially if you end up getting those target locks early with the. DRK probe droids that you see sitting there mostly in the middle of your board there the yellow back toy drone you got two back toy drone drones one in yellow one in green and they are loaded out differently the yellow one has a mag pulse warhead and cluster missiles also carrying thermal detonators and of course the repulsor lifts the green one, built out a little bit different, has the cluster missiles, but has ion missiles instead of the Magpulse for flavor. Also, that is a ship that brought the DRK probe droids and, um, and also has those repulsor lift stabilizer. You'll notice the price there. Different between the two, we have 49 points uh, for the yellow and 48 for the green. Well, we have our first attack here. We have... Rick firing at the uh, at the probe droids. One hit. Here's the roll. And that is going to be a dead DRK probe droid. 
Not going to be able to set up target locks. It's actually a pretty big deal for Marcel not having target locks preset up before an engagement. Mind you, they do have one more set, but looking at our, our current setup right now, if Marcel is going in to fight this turn, that will give him his advantage. Of course, if he ends up delaying it and the DRK probe droids get out there, we could end up seeing the target lock set up anyway. So Dan might be a little worried depending on what his plan is. Let's keep going through Dan's list. He also have also has DGS 047. Let's take a second talk about the ability there. DGS 047 reads after you perform an attack, if the defender is in your front arc, you may acquire a lock on it. Then, if the defender is in your bullseye, it gains one strain token. So, DGS 047, um, you know, has the potential to set up target locks for your... Um, you know, for your friendly ships, if there's not a target lock set up out there, so you do have that um, th that networked aim on a single target, assuming that's where you want to focus fire, and um, also carrying those ion missiles and cluster missiles with the thermal detonator. So there's some similarities between them. You have three of them carrying that cluster missile, two with ion missiles, and uh, some different options out there. The most expensive of those four. HMP gunships is the Geonosian prototype. Then on Marcel Manzano's side, you know he's a fan of aces. He's brought Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Ada 2. Loaded out with Sense, Predator, Tractor Beam, R2-D2, Astromech, and a shield upgrade. Um, in this game, Sense does nothing for for marcel um outside of possibly giving obi-wan i guess sorry i said it does nothing it does a little bit it gives obi-wan a little bit of an idea if he should be using the sensitive controls to pre pre maneuver barrel roll or boost um during that system phase okay so has some uh, has some options there for for sense to look at. It's not going to give you any arc dodging capability, but it could at least maybe uh, with knowing what's on your dial and uh, seeing what the HMP block might be doing, might give them some options there. I said sensitive controls, excuse me, intuitive controls. You know, those controls. Then uh, we have Rick Olay in the Naboo Starfighter with Daredevil, Advanced Sensors, and R2 Astromech. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings on Daredevil for Rick, but you can't deny that it does get the arc on. Uh, Rick does find himself often having unmodified shots though and i know that's that's one of the offense problems for rick is uh if you don't have a modifier sometimes even though you're getting that third dice it doesn't matter so much uh, if it's unmodified but if you can end up being on the over of that one and a half expected when you're throwing dice and be at two hits it could do something in this matchup against one agility ships i do expect rick to actually do some damage so might not end up being a problem then we have Anakin Skywalker, a favorite of Marcel's with, and that is in the Naboo Starfighter, with Intimidation. So if Anakin ends up at range zero of any of those HMP gunships, it's going to be minus one agility because of that contact at range zero. Collision Detector, allowing him for two turns to just pretend like an obstacle doesn't exist there and that's why you see right here anakin skywalker uh sitting in the middle of the table um sitting in the middle of the table because you you'll often see marcel um you know just blow through rocks willy-nilly uh without without caring so <laughs> it's not not a rare occurrence on his part okay so this turn, we did get target lock set up on Anakin with that second DRK probe droid. And, okay, we're still having issues with this. Give me one second, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to be something a little bit more extreme to get this going. Maybe that'll work. Come on. Again, apologize for the technical difficulties. 
Continuing Anakin Skywalker, we got uh, R2 Astromech setting up that regen with advanced proton torpedoes. The betting has been closed. Let's go ahead and update that clock. And we are currently at 64 minutes and change. Let's go ahead and start rolling it. They're about 30 seconds different. Do what you do, blame Spectrum Internet. Oh, I will. Hey, Dan. Um, Dan. Why did I call you Dan? Your name's not Dan. Greg. <laughs> Greg, um, if you were available, if you're available, you want to jump on with commentary. Sorry, I didn't get back to you yesterday. I was uh, deep in academia brain. If you want to join me today or for uh, the today for this game or the 11 and one, let me know. All right, so looking at the positions of the HMPs right now, they have a they have a good spot. You know, don't worry about that that rock. You know, they have the side slip active right now. Pretty easy uh, rotation going to the right. All right, Rick, three banking through that gap right there. And Kenobi flying too straight. So pretty conservative moves. I mean, we, we are going to get engagement next turn. It's happening, right? We're going to end up being at that top right. And Dan's got some options. Dan's got some options with that side slip, whether he wants to go to the left or to the right. One of the difficulties, of course, for... Marcel is having to choose what direction he thinks Dan's going to go. But don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Those HMPs can go in both directions. You can see two of them end up going to the right, two of them for to the left, and go from there. Now we got uh, Piston42 uh, trying to get a bet in there. New chatter. Let's go ahead. You know what? I will open up the bets for you, friend. We had a little DC issue there from relative shoe that did end up pausing the clock let me go ahead and uh, reset that all right 62 looks like it looks like everybody's having a little bit of issues today that's fun clocks rolling again and there's ob checking for arc i think everything should just be out of arc and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and open up the bets one, one more time for you piston there you go. They, they are open right now. And we got shots into the DRK. Two hits. And it goes poof. All right. No worries. No worries, Greg. Just wanted to keep that invitation open. And we, after clearing off, oh, that, that 180 arc does have range on Rick. It is through a rock. Let's see what we got. Hit crit. Let's see if Rick, oh, all right. Well, Rick is going to start taking damage right away. You got the regen, but that's not how you want to end up losing shields to get it started. And with that. Let's go ahead and close the bets. Take a shield off of Rick and keep the ball rolling. So AJ Wargaming in the chat saying, uh, I think if you destroy those DRKs, you should end up getting... Uh, you should end up getting some points for that. And I, you know what? I, I'm, not in a, I'm not in disagreement with you. I... It do, it does feel a little it's a little bit of feels bad when you don't get anything there. 
but you know I think it has to do just kind of with the design of the game is because those cars are you know it's like a little mini ship right but we don't there's currently not a mechanic to get cards to get points from non ship cards so if they build that in I think that would be uh, that'd be natural Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at positioning right now. I mean, with, with that, I know some people in the chat were saying you don't think that the HMPs should split up. We've seen Dan do it before, which is why, you know, he's a very competitive player with these HMPs. We've seen him play it and we've seen him split up when it works for him. Obviously keeping them together gives you this, you know, very similar options with them all, which is great. Uh, but with that 180 arc, if they were to split up, it's not really that crazy. Um, you're still going to end up having shots in that same direction. And, uh, yeah. It, it, it is what it is. And I would agree. There's some people talking about the matchup. Um, yeah, Marcel talked about it right, you know, right away when those pairings happened. Um, you know, just a little behind the scenes here. That this was a really tough matchup. And essentially, for him, this game is him putting putting himself as a captain, putting himself on the line, saying, "You know what? I'll take this bad matchup. You guys go get the go get the dubs in the other games," and uh, and that's what that's what captains are, are are supposed to do, right? Take take that fight, and he's just trying he's trying to scrape by. If he can scrape in a win, that's great. But I mean, this is essentially MOV collecting. You get as many points as you can. And Biru, Beru's plant saying, uh, it does seem a bit jousty for such an arc dodging list. I mean, it's a tough matchup. It, it's it, This is one of those where it's like, I'm just going to go try to grab what I can grab. Um, because Dan can f really control, as I think is the word, can really control the engagement. And and the, the distance is so well with that side slip. And just how these HMPs function. That a, a lot of time, a lot of times, you know, if three ships is going to be a little bit tough, you know, to to be arc dodging, um, you know, these four 180 degree arcs, especially if Dan is starting to split them up. So he's just taking a direct approach. Can you take one out in the first turn? That is the advantage that Marcel does have. He's like, you know what? I am a higher initiative than you. If I can pour in eight damage and just get one off the board and start trading there, it might give you a chance. If you can end up, you know, trading ship for ship uh, for the first two and maybe have about one and a half HMPs versus, uh, I would say, OB1, that does give you, that gives, that gives you a chance. That gives you a chance. And of course, if Dan loses any of the HMPs and Marcel doesn't lose anything, that is uh, really indicative of, of 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 Marcel, you know, it going his way. But that's uh, an unlikely outcome. But hey, it can happen. It can happen. All right, and here we go. It is officially a split between the two. Um, not a full split. You see that they took uh, side slips to the right of that rock and then just took a nice and casual uh, one forward and a stop. Dan feeling comfortable stopping, taking the stress. He's got a calculate from Kraken that's been sitting out on DGS already. DGS can get a target lock after firing at a, at a ship. Uh, if needed, but already has one out from the earlier DRK lock that happened. Uh, the target locks being used in the game are um, the the little the little guys from Among Us. Let's read a couple of these things here. Uh, Echelon71 says if Dan can uh, lose uh, one ship, he has eight shots before it can regen, then it's game over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where is Marcel going to go? I mean, right now, what are we waiting for? This is Anakin. 
He's deciding if he wants to barrel roll. Anakin has that option before moving. And just busting a five straight. And I'm fairly certain that's not range one of anything. Just a bit outside. He would have needed that uh, DGS 47 to have actually moved to have something at range one. But yeah, that's that's not happening. We got plenty of ships at range two, but Anakin was hoping to get off that advanced proton torpedo. We will see if he gets to live to be able to do it. What is he doing? Suicide any? I mean, he was he was go he was doing what I think I was talking about earlier. It's just giving yourself the best chance to try to clear one off the board. But the range control from Dan was strong, super strong. Ah, yes, Anakin is in yellow. Rick is uh, has the red base. Sorry about that. And you could look at the oh, Rick did end up bumping. Oh no, no action for for Rick. How did Rick get a focus? Let's take a look here. Was it and was it uh? Obi-Wan, oh, advanced sensors, yes, advanced sensors, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Obi-Wan shimming up, and I think at this point, you're just trying to figure out, who who am I going to shoot, because I, I, don't, I don't have a ton of options, probably end up focusing on the red HMP, I would end up guessing, let's find out, here's the first roll, two hits, All right, starting hit hit crit into the green droid. Oh, excuse me. No, we're going into red. Going into red, the tractor beam ends up hitting with Obi-Wan Kenobi, pulling him forward, and that will get you your advanced proton torpedo. It's happening. Now, that HMP will have an option to rotate 90 degrees if it wants after that, but I, I don't see that happening. Great move there by Marcel. Probably would have preferred to, um, to have Obi-Wan out there dealing damage, but now we have a zero agility HMP gunship, and, uh, you know, with hot dice, you could end up throwing uh, eight hits here. Actually, nine, possibly, if uh, since Rick has four right now. Range one plus the ability... And you got three. That's guaranteed three damage. Just go ahead and just rip those shields off the red HMP, that Geonosian prototype. Anakin Skywalker coming up. Here is the advanced proton torpedo. Five dice. You have a target lock. Looking for a big swing here. And doesn't have a focus result. Oh. Feels feels bad just a bit. Would have ideally liked to have that. That's just going to be hit crit. Well, sorry. He has the reroll. Here's the reroll on the target lock. Oh, got the five. That is a... That is a guaranteed initiative kill. This is exactly what Marcel needed in order to actually have a chance in this game. Woo! One rounded Geonosian prototype. And like we said earlier, that, uh, that ship was the most expensive out of the four. Sitting at 56 points. Excuse me, sitting at 55 points. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You know, he gave himself the best opportunity, Marcel using his tools, uh, and now Dan gets to respond. If Dan doesn't take a ship here, it's gonna it's gonna start snowballing.
And here come the HMPs. It is their turn to get stuff done. Going into Rick here. Three on three. So Rick has an extra die because of his ability. You got one hit, two focuses. Networked aim reroll, got hit crit, probably spends. Nope, doesn't have a calculate out there. And that's going to be one damage onto Rick. That is the second shield. And here is the cluster missile second attack. One hit. Able to convert for three. And all... Th oh, no. Actually, he switched targets into Anakin Skywalker. And that's going to end up being two shields on Anakin. I'm surprised we ended up switching up targets there. I mean, sorry. No, sorry. That was a bonus attack from Cluster Missiles. Again, for, forget the collegiate uh, graduate school brain going on right now. So basically got that for free with Cluster Missiles. And now switching targets to Anakin. One crit. Networked aim rerolls. Hit crit. Spends the force, but that critical damage is going through. That's going to be half points. And you got a damage sensor array. Damage sensor array on Anakin Skywalker. Let's go ahead and get that on the overlay. Damage sensor array. Last attack for the turn coming in here. Three hits. And this is Rick, again, taking another cluster missile attack. And that's two damage going out on Rick. Still living. But those bonus attacks on cluster missiles are doing work right now. DGS-47 has the option to shoot now. And is another cluster missile carrier. So expect both of these ships to be shot again. Waiting for the roll. Here it is. And you got one hit. Two focuses. He's got to calculate. He also has, has a target lock out there. Let's see what he wants to do. Rerolls both with networked aim. Spend the calculate for two. You are getting one more damage on Anakin. Anakin down to one hull. And here's the cluster missile trying to lock out Rick with the bonus attack. So will there be a trade? One ship for one ship. Here we go. Three dice. Just one. Rick could live. Still has a folk. Oh, sorry. There's a reroll out there. Only one. And Rick ends out living. That is massive. Okay, I know. L let's let us take a, take an inventory here. Uh, Rick and Anakin permanently halved. There's there's nothing. Uh, well, I guess I'm sorry. Let me let me let me fix that. So they are five whole ships. So if you regen both, you can get back above half. If you regen both shields. That's going to be tough, though. If you go full disengage with both Anakin and Rick, that leaves Obi-Wan kind of stranded. But Marcel 
has put himself in a position where that I think he probably would not have guessed. Cleared an HMP gunship and still has all three ships on the board. Okay. It is um it it is it is crazy right now. Now Hamslow in the chat has something to say. Let's see what we got here. If the HMPs can't win this raw joust against super mobile Jedi Aces, it's hard to imagine they could really even do differently. Cluster missiles seem like the only reason they were even able to make a real trade. Um, I think, well, the the Hamslow, my in. If Marcel didn't, this you know, Marcel chose to joust here, right? He chose the fa the face to face engagement, but this could have looked a lot different, right? If the tractor beam didn't hit, let's let's start there. If the tractor beam doesn't hit, there's no Anakin advanced proton torpedo. That's just a primary attack, and you still have four Geonosian prototypes on the table. Maybe one's at half, and you've halved both Anakin and Rick, right? So, it's the, this single interaction, I don't think, this is, this is uh, a timeline <laughs> that is rare, to be completely honest. And this is, you know, um, I think if Marcel would have played the, the kind of, the, the AC game, right, be, trying to be more cagey in the beginning, I think it would have hurt him more. And he has tools to be able to hit hard right at the beginning, so... It is, uh, you know, he's working with his tools that he has to his advantage, which is important, of course. Now, for everybody watching, I do want to remind you that we have another XTC game being played today. It is going to be played at 1 p.m. We do have uh, a bit of a gap between the first and the second game. I'm going to go ahead and take that opportunity for, uh, for a nap gap. So we're going we're gonna to do that. And for those of you who were asking, um, this is just kind of random GSP content. Um, as you guys know, <laughs> I or if if you have your notifications on, uh, you may have seen me accidentally hit uh, hit <laughs> the start streaming button during one of my classes over the week. That was fun. But with that in mind, um, I actually I spoke to I was talking to my family, and I know some of you were like, "Hey, Dion, can you stream your graduation?" Um, and, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is, uh, is basically taking my phone with me and either putting it on, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what the set cell phone signal is like. And, uh, if we can, we'll do a, do a little stream from, uh, from my music stand. <laughs> So we we will see. No guarantees though. Again, it depends on the uh, the cell phone signal on the floor. But anyway, let's get back to this game. We have a ton of ton of XTC games that have been uh, put up on our YouTube channel right now. Uh, games from the Lamu Galactic Championship Qualifier are currently going up. By the way, we have the Dagobah. Galactic Championship Qualifier coming up for uh, for our European friends happening during the Dublin, Ireland time zone. Uh, player meeting starting at 9 a.m. Dublin time and then 10 a.m. for that um, uh, for games to actually get started. I know some of our United States friends like to play in those European events as well because it happens overnight. It's a great way to uh, possibly play some X-Wing while the fam is asleep, so you can get focused. Uh, AJ asking, did I finish? I have not quite finished. Still got two more weeks. I have not been granted the rank of master yet. Still in the trials, but I think I got this. And if I can sneak a lightsaber on the stage, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I mean, there will be at least a picture of me with a lightsaber at some point on graduation there. There has to be. 
Oh, it's P. Stinson. By, by the way, I'm sorry. I called you Piston earlier. My bad. By the way, if you are a patron of Gold Squadron, right now the TIE Fighter voting for the GSP's Shadow Squadron is currently up right now on Patreon. Currently leading the way is Wampa. So get your votes in. And remember, you can vote for more than one. If you have kind of like, I would take this one, this one, or this. I mean, you're going to get whatever one gets, <laughs> gets voted for. But you know what I mean. The voting will automatically close here in the next, uh, what is it, in the next, well, about 12 hours from now. Uh, no Night Beast. Night Beast is on the list, but I don't think Night Beast is going to win. Wampa's, Wampa has a pretty strong lead uh, right now in the voting. I can actually go take a peek. Answering a question here. There we go. Taking a calculate. And I think this is, you can see Dan anticipating Marcel running away here, having one of two of those 180 degree arcs pointed in that top left corner. Also, with the green Mactoid has set up uh, some nice blocks. Some thermal detonators got left behind by DGS 47, saying, "Hey, you can uh, you can have some of these." And there is the barrel roll from Yellow. We did end up regening on Anakin Skywalker, taking a shield there, plus one. And currently, Anakin has a damage sensor array, so it can only focus as an action. And I think they'll end up... Just put out the damage sensor array token. So how, did, how, did, how did we boost? I'm confused. So we did spend the collision detector charge through going through the rock. Okay. He used Obi's ability to get the focus. Yeah, I'm confused. They might be talking about it now. We're going to give him a second. Remember, the, these mistakes do end up happening. You know, this is not G, not a GSP event, so I I'm not allowed to to mess with things. Um, but I can I can call a judge. Let me go ahead and do that. Uh, a lot of times they're not available right away. Uh, 
Where's the judge channel? array is the Malta captain here yeah Marsh is not here I did my due diligence again not allowed to bring up anything so we're gonna we're gonna keep it going I uh, the judges tag has been tagged one of aid rolled after let's see what did yet the damage is being done there let me yes we got three shields down on yellow And we continue here. We have three dice being rolled by Dan. Going range one into Obi-Wan Kenobi. Just one hit. Able to t change for it to two. We're going to have one going through there. Oh, no, sorry. No, one squiggle. So no damage. Excuse me. HMP is going to continue firing here. No, I had it right. Rick uh, did hit the rock and lost a shield. And you got three crits out there. Two squiggles, but those are going to be the last damage needed for Rick. Rick is off the table. Not enough. And you see the 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 rock there being pinged, saying, "Hey, you gone." So with Rick going down there, Dan now leads 92 to 55. We got 30 minutes and change left on the clock. Again, everybody who's joining us today, I want to remind you we have another game happening after this one. Uh, but it's it's a little bit later today. It's going to be at 1 p.m. Central, so it's going to be quite a. It's going to be you know, about two hours, uh, maybe two and a half hours after the conclusion of this game. So what we'll be doing, we'll actually just be stopping the broadcast, and um, and we will we will rebroadcast. We'll jump back in before the start of that game. But don't worry, we'll be ready here. We'll have another USA versus Malta match. Even though the United States did officially win the um, this round versus Malta with the current score of 4-0, uh, these games do matter. They Each team wants to end up stacking up as many wins as possible as it does help their standings going into the, uh, the next stage. So... Thank you for tuning in, and uh, and hello. And, of course, before we log out, we'll, we'll do how we do. We will do a couple of giveaways before we head out. So looking forward to that. So looking at the options here for Anakin...
Ah, the irony. The irony is that Marcel has a damage sensor array token on Anakin. That is funny. <laughs> These HMPs have tons of options. Currently, let's look at our repulsor stabilizers. The green HMP can side slip. So can yellow. I would expect yellow to go down and to our visual right. Blue likely just a one forward, but uh, green needs to get out of the way first. And has, green has a side slip, so we might just end up seeing the side slip going to the left or the right uh, first. I'm going to end up guessing that it will end up being to its right. Mr. Rocker Cracker in the chat says the I1 HMPs are like Wookiee gunships, but with more, f but more fun with side clips. I I would agree. They definitely have that same feel. GSP's own Ryan Stanazuski is the is the fan of five HMP gunships. Um, you know he flew that during the Gold Squadron showdown. Definitely showed off how good that list can be, even though you don't get all the goodies on, on each of the ships that you can in four. Just having that fifth body and that extra round of shots can make a huge difference. Hello, good morning to our friends Isofane in the chat. See, so we have Epionic, another Team USA member in the chat. Cheering on as captain. Thermal detonators set, primed and ready. And gonna gonna drop two. I would expect Anakin to be moving fast here. One more regen does end up getting him back up to half points. Okay, so we got a side slip actually in the opposite direction that I thought it was going to go. Princess627 says, I've been playing Ryan's list and love it. That's awesome. Glad you that, glad you could be inspired here on GSP. And Dan, choosing a barrel roll, bringing that arc over just a little bit more. Side slippage towards the top of the table. Had the space. No worries about the rock. I wasn't 100% sure on that. My side slip perception isn't great so <laughs> not on dts i mean even overall that's why i've been wrecked so many times by them <laughs> and here's a two bank by dgs 47 rolling right behind taking a calculate and waiting for the republic and again there's the expected three bank Complete disengage, and uh, you're taking a bomb, friend, because you can't boost. So might end up losing those shields that he worked so hard to regen. And fixes the damage sensor ray as the action. And it looks like Obi-Wan taking the Talon roll here. Talon rolls on those Ada 2s are purple. But that positioning does end up having Obi-Wan in three arcs. All three arcs. Has a single evade. Took Obi-Wan's ability for a focus. So this is going to be a tough one. Need some wild crits out of Obi-Wan shot. And here's the first bomb roll. It is a strain. And the second one is also in range.
And nothing on that one. Anakin going to be clean. Did roll the damage for Obi-Wan, though, and his loss of shield. Now, that shield can be repaired with the R2-D2 astromech currently on it. Oh, did we miss uh, R2-D2 actually f uh, do doing his ability to disable a bomb? We sure did. We sure did. That was when Marcel measured range one. He used uh, R2-D2 to remove the bomb. We'll talk about that here in a second. Here is a shot coming from Obi-Wan Kenobi into the HMPs. In the bullseye, one hit and ends up getting it through. Was depleted because of the use of R two D two. This was a tractor beam being hit, and we're gonna get a barrel roll onto the mustache rock. Will it actually stay on that rock? It does. It'll have to roll a die right now to see if it ends up getting damaged, and it will not be able to shoot. So no damage, but. The tractor there saving Obi Wan one potential dam well one potential shot. And this also means that DGS will not be setting up that target lock after attacking. We'll go ahead and just double check. Yep, not gonna be able to get that. And two crits. Got the re-roll. Hit, crit, crit. Spends the evade on Obi-Wan, but is still taking a critical damage. It's a direct hit. Obi-Wan's down to one. Can this yellow HMP end up finishing it? Here's a shot. A single crit. Networked aim reroll and Obi-Wan lives. Lives. R2-D2 has a single charge and right there the tractor beam play may have saved Obi-Wan Kenobi this turn. Wow. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. So let's let's take a second and talk about the R two D two play that happened there. Looking for that R two D two astromech card. Oh nope, wrong one. We need the Republic one. Sorry about that. R two D two the second one. Here we go. So it says, after you activate, you may spend one charge and gain one deplete to repair one damage card, recover one shield, or, he did the last one, remove one device at range 0 to 1, which is what those bombs are. They are devices. That's, that is their classification. So was able to do that. Now, let's go ahead and looking at our current uh, point standing right now, 101 to 55 with 20 minutes left. Now, does Marcel actually have a win condition? It's going to be it's going to be a tight gap here. It's going to be a tight gap. But um Obi-Wan Kenobi, of course, would need to regen in order to get back that half point, right? That is a um twice. You're going to Actually, no, you can't get up to half, can you? Because you brought the shield upgrade. Yeah, nope. The shield upgrade here actually hurting just just a bit. I mean, you, without it, you're dead. So I guess maybe it's not, it's not hurting. But, uh, you know, two health is not enough to get above half. Um, so you're going to end up being at... Uh, uh, gee, there's no way to get that back. So you need to be able to find... How many points? You're going to need to be able to find... 47 points 47 points so take out take out a bactoid drone and survived 
right? Like that's that's what's gonna get you the dub at this point. You take out one and live. Cause yeah, needs 47. You gotta take out not DGS 47. You gotta take out the back toy one of the back toy drones to actually be ahead. Matt Carey of Team USA saying, this was always going to be a bad matchup for Marcel. I hope he can do this. I mean, if he does, this this was one of the tougher matchups when we were analyzing it on Monday during the podcast. This is one of the matchups that we thought was the most one-sided. And if Marcel can pull it off, it will be uh, trying to set up Team USA for the full sweep of Malta, which honestly, um, not expected. Malta, I had them, I was, I was pretty high on Malta uh, going into this. I know that the other games were all close. And that's, you know, sometimes when you look at records between teams, it might seem one-sided. But sometimes if enough of those final turns goes a single team's way in a round, that can make a big difference. Uh, looking at the point totals when they were posting in the Team USA chat, um, the points were close. So, um, you know, though that was a hard-earned 4-0 by Team USA. And here we go. Dan is on the move. Little side slip with the two-bank. Going to try to trap an Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have yellow. Banking in the opposite direction. Putting pressure on Anakin Skywalker if he was tempted to come back in. But now we got Arcs covering likely routes for Obi-Wan and for Anakin. Green one forward. And we have those HMPs covering three different angles. Here is the power of that 180 degree arc. You're able to cover so many different angles. I mean, if, if you take a second to draw out mentally where the arc coverage is, there's a small sliver in between uh, the red and green HMP going into that top right corner that is not covered by an arc. Just that much. And again, three turn takes the evade with full throttle. Anakin is free to boost if it wants or target lock. Takes a target lock as the action. And Obi-Wan, one left turn, ends up landing it. I would not have I would not have been brave enough to do that. Evade for the action. Purple uh, uh, sorry, force use for Anakin's Obi-Wan's ability to get that focus. We got focus evade. Here we go. Range one going to the green HMP and only got a single crit out of it. But that crit is going to squeak through and splash on a shield. Anakin firing back into yellow and did end up getting three hits. And that's two more damage going down. That is going to be half point on yellow. So Marcel creeping forward 101 to 80. If we get damage on either of these ships, that wind condition is going to start closing. That window starting to close. We got trail mix. Here's the reroll. Spend to calculate for two. Three dice on defense here for Anakin. Excuse me, on Obi-Wan. Has focus or evade. Gonna spend the focus. No guarantee that uh, another focus result ends up coming up. And switching targets here for Dan to the yellow HMP gunship. Got three focuses. Only has a single calculate. So gonna be using that networked aim for rerolls. Ends up with two after the wash. And oof. Force evade is going to be in order to take out both. 
So no damage on Anakin yet. We got two defense dice versus two attack. I don't think we're going to get a missile attack. And going to choose to go into Anakin. Oh no, it is a, mi a missile attack here. I mean, you got the networked aim. Probably do that first. And I'm assuming, yeah, yeah just one, because there was no, there's no calculates out there. Squiggle. So no ships taken down, but Marcel able to get that other half of the back toy drone. He is uh, starting to fulfill that win condition. If he gets uh, that three hull on the back toy drone, he will be ahead. Just barely, but I mean, that's that's all you need. One point is enough to win this game. <laughs> Does anybody in the chat remember early in second edition where there were uh, modified wins and all that? You know, there was there used to be this version of of tournament play where if you didn't win by a certain number of points, uh, you didn't get a full win. But in our in our X Wing second edition, one point is enough to win the game. Um, I do like the drama of, of how those points end up working out versus the um, what was sometimes confusing uh, previous system. James, I'm back. Hey, buddy. <laughs> My brother from another mother. I remember being confused by that. You and a lot of people. Full, yeah, it was full win, modified win, modified loss, and tie. Correct. Yeah, it was. It was strange. It's much easier to calculate now. I. I. I prefer the system. It just. It created some really weird situations. Previously, with cuts and all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, James, we have another game scheduled at 1 Central, uh, but after this game, we're just going to go ahead and stop the stream, and we'll just we'll roll it back up when um, when there we have a we have what has been dubbed by the chat uh, chat a nap gap um, because I stayed up till 5:30 a.m. working on my paper, <laughs> and I'm a little tired. But yeah, we got another one at one. Ah, yes. Intentional draws as well. Those were an interesting few, few months. For sure. Nap gap. Love it. Yep. Official GSP turn. Who coined that? Somebody, somebody had somebody in the chat. Who was the first? Hashtag nap gap. Yep. Oof. All right, James, if you want to hang out later, just jump, just jump in. We got 10 minutes and change left. Marcel trying to hold on to the win condition. He's got to not lose any ships. Where's he going to go? I mean, he, you, you want to try to track down yellow. 
But both the green and the blue HMP are going to have a beat on, on Anakin if he gets too aggressive. Uh, yes, yeah, so the, the charges here. Anakin has zero charges left on his regen droid. But one charge left on... Here, we'll go ahead and do this. We got... We'll cross that out on Anakin. Collision detector is still up. On Obi-Wan Kenobi, we still has one R2-D2 charge. A single one. And a single shield as well. Oh, wait. That doesn't make any sense. You should probably... Hold on. I think he needs to flip that charge. I don't think R2-D2 is up anymore. Because he took out the bomb and uh, and got the shield. All right. Looks like we got some pings. They know that this these turns are important. It's going to be big. Uh, he's got the shield active and the charge active, so I'm going to assume that he he did it. Yes, Republic R2-D2 only has two charges. Correct. Again, we're gonna we're gonna give him some grace, and uh, we're still waiting on a judge response from the from the previous issue. So, at this point, we know that there's not somebody available. And there we go. Those HMPs trying to get set up to fire down against Skywalker. Here's Anakin using his ability. Barrel rolling to the left. And hard turning. Oh, you're in a bit of a tough spot, Anakin. Rolling's a cool trick, but it didn't get you out of arcs. couple people asking about the effect on R2-D2 in the Republic. Um, in order to use it, you do need to flip the charge, but you also gain a deplete token. So that is a minus one agility. Sorry, one. Oh, my lord. Uh, sorry, guys. Minus one attack die. That's why it's shaped like the attack symbol. So looking at options right now, I think right now he's trying to debate whether or not the green HMP is even in range. Could end up using... Uh, attempted the boost, did not fit. Oh no, use collision, collision detector. The collision has been detected. And the boost ends up getting through there and arc dodging the blue and yellow HMP gunships. We are in a situation now. Oh, that thermal detonator is going to hit the blue HMP. Still, DGS 47 is, uh, is pretty healthy right now. So this, this shield is really not a huge deal. Now, Obi-Wan has a shot over there as well. Two dice. That tells you it's the primary, not the tractor beam. That would be three dice. Two hits and one going through. A second shield down on DGS-47. 
The green HMP is going to have free reign to fire on Anakin. Of course, and he does have that evade token, so we'll see if he can actually push through it. And it is at range two. So this is going to be two on two. One reroll going at him. We did see a front arc check. Oh, no. Green has a uh, has a target lock on Anakin. So we, we could end up seeing a missile attack here at range two. Has ion missiles and cluster missiles on that ship. And cluster missiles are alive, so expect a three attack. Three dice. Going at Anakin. Two hits. Networked aim. Digging for three. Got it. Oh, chosen one. Dodges one with the evade, but that means two are going through. Shields down. And and to confirm, that was the cluster missile, not the ion missile. But Anakin is still alive. The consistency of these HMPs, besides their movement, they do have some wonky movements that are make it difficult to uh, to pin them down sometimes. But the the consistency created by that networked aim is very good. We've seen it used on a majority of the attacks that Dan has done. So when playing against HMPs, do not sleep on that. If you can, uh, I think Jam is a really good tool against these HMPs, just being able to take away their toys. Though one of the problems as well is that they end up getting stacked, right? There's a sometimes they have calculates, uh, you know, one from that turn, one from Kraken. If you set up the target lock earlier as well, I mean, there's. There is uh, a lot of tokens out there, so sometimes jam is not as effective as you would like versus uh, these HMPs. But uh, I mean, that's that chassis. Really, their biggest weakness is the one agility. That is uh, their their glaring weakness. They have um, the ability to be one shot by, or not one shot, but one rounded by focus fire because you can push through the damage pretty quickly. Now, if that HMP is rolling, you know, that natty evade every time, it's going to be slowing things down, of course. But you have a much higher probability of just taking it off the table. We saw a thermal detonator dropped at the two speed. And we're turning into the left with those HMPs ready to try to catch Anakin. He's got two layers of arcs. Green HMP covering Anakin as well. We'll see if he ends up having a beat on him. One minute and change left on the clock. This is likely going to be the last turn. Talon roll from Anakin. That's surprising. Obi-Wan overlapped the ops. I think he hit the rock. Uh, overlapped. What do you overlap? It says overlapped. Oh, no. It's a probe droids. The probe droids. What? That was weird. There's no probe droids out there. Anywho, never mind. Boosting it, the aggression here. He's got to. He's got to not die from this bomb. Takes a strain. Still living. And here we go. 
Range one into the Magpulse War Carrier. Got three hits. Squiggle from Dan. I think... Is that is that enough? No, he's got two through there. Down to one. Here's Anakin. Anakin not able to push it through. Anakin fails to deliver. And the window is open for Dan. One damage on Anakin. Would end up flipping our score. Hit crit. And that one damage does go through on Annie. Tough loss there by Marcel. It is a bad matchup. Let's not let's not get it twisted. It is a bad matchup. But I think Marcel put up a good fight. We got the last couple of shots here going into Obi-Wan, seeing if you can get the last of the points there from the squad. Trying to collect that MOV. Two hits. And uh, that should be a damage, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, shield taken down. Full trail mix. We got some networked aim rerolls coming. Hit, hit, crit into Obi-Wan, and that is it for him. So Marcel loses that game 200 to 80. Malta able to stop the losing streak and the bleeding. Thank you to Iso, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.